Today's medical-centric topic is antihistamines, how they work, types, and side effects. Antihistamines are medications used to relieve allergy symptoms by blocking the action of histamine, a chemical involved in allergic reactions. Understanding how they work, their types, and potential side effects can help you use them effectively. 1. How antihistamines work Blocking histamine Histamine reaction During an allergic reaction, the body releases histamine, receptor blocking. Antihistamines block histamine receptors, H1 receptors, on cells, preventing histamine from binding and causing symptoms. 2. Types of antihistamines First-generation antihistamines Sedating effect Known for causing drowsiness due to their ability to cross the blood-brain barrier. Examples Diphenhydramine, Benadryl Chlorphenamarine Chlortrimeton Uses Effective for short-term relief of allergy symptoms, motion sickness, and as sleep aids. Second-generation antihistamines Non-sedating Less likely to cause drowsiness as they do not easily cross the blood-brain barrier. Examples Loratadine, Claritin Cetiridazine, Zyrtec Fexofenadine, Allegra Uses. Preferred for long-term management of allergies due to fewer side effects. 3. Uses of antihistamines. Allergy relief. Seasonal allergies. Effective for hay fever symptoms like sneezing, runny nose, and itching eyes. Perennial allergies. Used for year-round allergies such as those caused by dust mites or pet dander. Skin conditions. Itchy skin and rashes. Helps alleviate itching from conditions like eczema and hives. Other uses. Motion sickness. Some first-generation antihistamines are used to prevent and treat nausea and vomiting. Cold symptoms. Sometimes used to reduce runny nose and sneezing and colds. 4. Side effects of antihistamines. First-generation antihistamines Drowsiness Common side effect Limiting use during activities requiring alertness Dry mouth and eyes Can cause dryness of the mouth and eyes Dizziness May cause dizziness or coordination issues in some individuals Second-generation antihistamines Less sedation Generally fewer side effects, but can still cause drowsiness in some people. Headache and nausea. Possible, but less common side effects include headaches and nausea. 5. Precautions and considerations. Medical conditions. Pre-existing conditions. Consult a healthcare provider if you have conditions like glaucoma, prostate issues, or heart problems before using antihistamines. Drug interactions Other medications Be aware of potential interactions with other medications, especially sedatives and alcohol. Special populations Pregnancy and breastfeeding Consult a doctor before use during pregnancy or while breastfeeding. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.